Saddam Ali, Mungia. Verona, New York, Turning Stone Resort Casino. The WBO Junior Middleweight Belt on the line. The champion, Saddam Ali, against undefeated Mexican Jaime Mungia. 12 rounds of action for a belt. We are inside ringside. Bethel Duran, Brian Adams, the tail of the tape for this one. Obviously, the difference would be the experience, wouldn't it be, Brian? Yes, I was going to say the age in this fight is a factor because the experience. You know, Saddam was the undefeated young guy at one point. He fought Jesse Vargas, and, he, he, you know, he took the loss. A few years has, has separated that loss. He's much more mature. Well, He's older, although Jaime is slightly taller, but the experience is going to be the factor. And the fighters are ready to make their rewalk. He's charged and he's really hyped. He was in the back, as we're told, hitting the mitts for a good 40, 45 minutes. Which to me shows that he's going to jump all over Saddam. He's banking on the first three, four, five rounds. As his key, he wants to jump on Saddam. And like a good Mexican, he's coming into Vicente Fernandez. Mexico lindo y querido. The same song Canelo Alvarez uses. Vicente Fernandez, legendary Mexican singer. in the ring, but he was warming up for a while back there, huh? Yeah, that's I say, he's hitting the mitts for a good 45, 50 minutes. And that's, to me, that tells that he's going to jump all over Saddam. He wants a fast, heavy pace, so he wanted to warm up properly. He wanted to be already in a five or six round, you know, fighting mode. It's his first championship fight. It's also his first big main event. But that's the inexperience, I think, that's going to come in and, and, and bite him in the butt. A very calm. WBO Junior Middleweight Champion, here is Saddam Ali! Four and a half hours away from Brooklyn, the world kid is bringing a crowd. I think he's waiting. That's not his ring walk music. So he wants his ring music. So they're not going to walk until they play his right music. Well, the song is playing right now is Champion by Robin Faulkner. But Saddam ain't moving. As a champion, you want that respect. I'm a champion, but hey, give me what's mine. Right, that's what I mean. You want that respect. Listen, hey, you earned it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to walk out to this music, play my music. Hey, I'm on the side of billboards. I'm on posters. My face is all over this casino. And they're going to make him walk. A little smirk from Saddam. Because it comes to a point where you say, you know what? Okay, fine, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. Let me just um, come out and get the fight started. They're pushing him out. Look, Ali's been telling his corner, get in there first. Why don't you guys get up there? Andre Rosier, trainer. His father, David Ali, good guy, good friend of mine. He's very, very intelligent, a smart businessman. Mahmoud Ali. There you go right there, David Ali. Oh, is that David Ali? David Ali. So David Ali, his father. They're both in the ring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, live on HBO from Turning Stone Resort and Casino here in Verona, New York. It is time for the main event of the evening. 
12 rounds of boxing this scheduled for the WBO Junior Middleweight Championship of the World. Brought to you by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions, this bound in association with Zanford Promotions. Sponsored by Tecate, the official beer of boxing, and Casa Mexico Tequila, X in the tanks. Sanctioned by the WBO, first vice president in attendance, John Duggan. Your three judges scoring this bout at ringside on the 10-point must system, Don Ackerman, Glenn Feldman, and John McKay. And when the action begins inside the ring, your referee in charge, Gary Rosano. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready, and the fighters are ready. New York, make some noise if you are ready! Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks, trimmed in green, white, and red, representing Mexico. He weighed in officially 152 and three quarter pounds, and in 28 professional bouts, stand perfect. 28 victories, no defeats. 24 big wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando el destructor invicto de Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. Here is the undefeated challenger, Jaime Munguilla. <laughs> and next is the opponent across the ring, fighting into the red corner. Wearing red, white, and blue, he weighed officially 153 pounds. In 27 professional bouts, his record 26 victories. Just one defeat, 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of inhaling from Brooklyn, New York. Here is the reigning, defending WBO Junior Middleweight Champion of the World, the World Kid, Saddam. Specific detail instructions in the lock, I'm only gonna tell you two things. Protect yourself at all times. Protegete a todo el tiempo. Be my commands at all times. Obedience is missing instruction is a todo el tiempo. Do it the end though. Okay, touch close, bang at the bell. God bless. Gary Rosado from Espanol for Jaime Munguia. We are ready to go. 154 pound belt on the line. Yep. Satama Ali, Jaime Munguia. Yep. Ali's only lost to Jesse Vargas. Munguia undefeated. At the age of 21. And Jaime, again, he's very young, jacked up, full of energy. Look at him, he's just ready to go. Like a bull, huh? Open the doors, let's go. And I'm sure he has in his mind. I don't care who Saddam Ali fought the last fight. Miguel Cotto, I don't care. Ali beat Cotto for this belt. Munguia, as you said. Don't care. Reading some of the Spanish newspapers, said, yeah, you respect them, but I don't care. Because it was an old Kodo. Right. Munguia's own words, which is what a lot of people have said. A lot of people giving Munguia a shot, calling him a live dog tonight, even though he doesn't have the experience, because of the punching power. And he's bigger than Saddam. Oh, yeah. Just look at the two of them next to each other there. He's much bigger than Saddam. Saddam got to be disciplined, and he has to box. Use his speed. 2012 was a big year for both of these fighters. Ali went to the Olympics representing the United States. Munguia, who was on the Mexican national team, was too young to qualify for the Olympics, so he turned pro at 16 in Mexico. And he dropped over here the first. He landed a nice left hook to the body, then a hook to the head. He's very big for Ali. Ali got to be disciplined, and he has the box. Hey. He has to box. Don't try to get any respect on this guy. Just box him. And Munguia doesn't want to box. He said, I believe in my punching power. It is real. And Ali just felt it. Munguia, no respect for the champion here. Keep in mind, Ali is a welterweight. He moved up to fight Kodo. He decided to stay at that weight, but he's a welterweight. And Munguia is a guy who could probably fill in 160 easy. There was talks of him fighting Triple G when that fight with Canelo right. fell out. 
and he had no problem with it. He wanted it. The commission said no. And those body shots, I think, are paying off for Jaime. Stop! Stop! And you can see why he's a live dog out of Tijuana. I, I just can't thuds. I can't say it enough. He's just huge. Look how big he is. And he drops him again. Oh, and Ali's knees are wobbling. His eyes are glazed. He's backpedaling. And Munguia's corner telling him to finish it. His dad gave him his... Jaime Munguia was a heavyweight boxer in Tijuana. And just told his son to finish it. And this is why he spent an hour, almost an hour, warming up. Because he wanted to jump right on Saddam. He called it, Brian. And he's jumping all over him. Saddam held up by ropes. He's a down to just hold on for the rest of this round. Jaime's not giving him an opportunity to grab, but he has to find a way to survive this round and clear his head. He's a smart boxer. Survive and clear his head. Now maybe an hour hitting the mitts hard in a fast-paced round, Jaime punches himself out, maybe. We're right in front of him. I don't think Munguia broke a sweat. Stay sharp, Saddam. Stay, your defense has to be on point. You okay. see the replay. This is the first knockdown. Left hook, he threw the right hand. Saddam brought his hands down to block that right hand to the body. And left hook right on the chin. Look at a different angle. Snap the neck around. Look at the shoulders and back of Jaime. The guy's just so huge. As a teenager, this is the second knockdown. He was stalking, left hook, jab. It was accumulation of punches at that point. As a teenager, Munguia used to be the main sparring partner for Antonio Margarito. You can only imagine the brawls they went at. The tornado. The Tijuana tornado. Munguia trying to be the next in line of the great Tijuana fighters. He said, Dom, just suggest the next two rounds, slow pace, just box, box, box. And Jaime got to keep that attack going if he wants to get Saddam out of there. Jaime is fighting flat-footed and throwing a lot of hard shots. Ali just landed a good left hook, didn't even move. Yeah, the size move difference. Here. He got outweighed Saddam by at least 25 pounds in there. But he's so thick-looking with Munguia. Having his way is the Mexican. Ali, a lot of heart. Oh, how much? Get on. Saddam Ali should get on the jab. Work the jab. He got to start to frustrate Jaime. Frustration is going to cause Jaime to throw wide, wild shots. But right now, he's calm, he's composed, so he knows what he, he's trying to do. Saddam got to get him out of that comfort zone. Jaime is just loading up, looking for that big shot. Stalking Ali, moving Ali. And Saddam, most of this round, he's spent against the ropes. So defense looking to hit Ali right now. Nothing. And to Ali's credit, he's kept the pace at a minimum this round. Now Jaime's just looking for that one shot to get him out of there. And while he's doing that, Saddam is building up some points. And Ali knew this is what he was going to get with this youngster, this young bull coming at him. First time on a big stage, Munguia. He said he wanted to show off and open some eyes in a very loaded 154-pound division. The book on Munguia, a lot of power, really green. Yeah. That left hook to the body is his money punch. He's very strong and he's aggressive. Nice left hook by Saddam. You're gonna tell me a Mexican has a left hook to the body? <laughs> Never heard of that. And he does have Roberto Alcazar 
who was Oscar De La Hoya's first trainer in his corner. Another big shot. Wobbles Ali here at the end of the second. And he goes down. And it'll be counted as a knockdown at the end of the round. Third time Ali has hit the deck. End of the round. Come on, kid. Come on, let me, let me get up there. His dad, David Ali, looks very, very concerned, and rightfully so, because Saddam is not just his boxer. Saddam is his son. Saddam. No, you're not playing. One round here. One round here. Fourth round coming up, I believe. How many? Fourth round coming up. Third round. Third round. Saddam, stop dropping in front of him. You're losing. You're losing these points when you drop your hand. Yeah. Don't lay there in front of him. That's the only time he can. You can see here at the end of the round, a long right hand from distance shook Saddam up. Another chopping right hand. Saddam is trying to hold on, trying to keep his legs under him, but eventually he caved. And David's very concerned. Let's go. Get the bucket. Come on. It survived until the end, but it was caught right before the bell. Yeah, he was doing a good job. I thought he, he, he got the pace somewhat calm, and then he got hit with that, that right hand towards the end of the fight. And, and I think he's on a short leash right now. The doctors and the referee all in the corner. I think the first sign of, of danger this round, they're going to stop the fight. So Dom got to be disciplined. He got to box. Use speed. Third round of action. Jaime Munguia, Di Juanero. Looking strong in Saddam Ali has dropped him three times. Tijuana, home of the Totals, home of the Totals, and home of Jaime Munguia as he looks strong in his first ever fight for a title. And Saddam has to get out the corner. He has to get off those ropes. Munguia coming in, doing whatever he wants against the champion Ali. And again, it has nothing to do with talent or skill level. I think it's just the size. See the huge size difference, not just in height, but in weight. Munguia just interesting to see how much he weighed tonight. Yeah, he, got, he has to be 180 tonight. And a thick 180, not hydrated like right, right. heavy, like just muscle. And Saddam is probably 160 tops. Saddam look a little soft body-wise also. Yeah, yeah. Again, he's a welterweight, but he's fighting a junior middleweight. Huh? That's where he fought Jesse Vargas at welterweight. Yeah, he took the fight against Cotto for the opportunity. And he decided, he decided to keep the junior middleweight title and, and campaign the junior middleweight. Finally, Ali lands some shots. And you can see the difference. Saddam Ali landed some shots against Miguel Cotto, and he hurt Cotto a couple of times. He's landing shots against Jaime, and Jaime's looking at him as if, you know, what the hell are you doing? Like it's a fly bothering somebody. And Munguia's smiling at him. It's like Munguia is letting Ali hit him to set him up. And Saddam shouldn't get... I was going to say, shouldn't get careless. Don't fall in love with landing shots. Uh, landing, but are they having an effect? On the road to Ali. But he can get comfortable landing shots and then stand in the pocket. He got hurt with a left hook. And Munguia stalking Ali in the corner. And you know, Ali holds on. That's a slip. He, he was going down. Those ropes is helping Saddam stay up. He needs to stay off for the ropes. And Munguia at the end of the round. Down with three. And Saddam wobbled back to the, he wobbled back to the run. Good to work. Corner. Hey, he's still there. The doctor doc, has stopped he's still there. The referee still there. has stopped it. He's still there, doc. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. See, first of all, first of all, Okay, thank you. Boxing moves. 
the minute you're it's for the corner. The corner's supposed you know, to be the minute. Do that. And then a doctor don't referee can come in. The he referee, Gary Rosado, was in the corner saying, it's shots. over. Then he All called right? the doctor. The only time he scores on you is when you stop. Keep your jab moving up and down. And keep, when he gets close, you tie and him I up think right. And I think Rosado put himself in a corner. He now he got to stop the right. fight. Let's stay with the jab and keep working. Andre Rosario's video skate said he's a world Stay champion. He's there. We go to the fourth round. Doctor asking him. Doctor with the last. Oh. And again, as a champion, you have to give an opportunity. Fourth round of a championship fight. Jaime Munguia, the Tijuanero, has dropped Saddam Ali three times. And Saddam should, if he's going to stay in the pocket, he got to stay low. Get under Jaime. See, right there, if you back up, he should go low. Ali needs to stay out of that corner, off of the ropes, and Munguia just walking him down. You gotta work the jab, you gotta stay low. And Jaime just gotta keep doing what he's doing. Moving forward, cut the ring off, and land power shots as soon as Saddam get the opportunity to. Loading up on his shots. Ali lands a good left. Doubling up the jab is Ali. In the red, white, and blue. Munguia with that right hand cut. Drops him with the left hook, and it is over! A new world champion at 154 pounds lives in Tijuana. And, and, and again, listen, I know it's junior middleweight. I know he signed up for the fight. I know, I know, I know, but he was too big for Saddam. And it was a little unfair that he was allowed to weigh up as big as he was. Jaime Munguia is your new champion. They celebrate in his corner. And he gets lifted. Took the fight two weeks notice. Saddam's father checking in on the son. He was dropped four times, but that nasty left hook ended it immediately. And the one thing people are not, people won't remember or will get lost is the fact of how tough he was. Saddam stuck in there. Just look at the size of these two guys. One punch, a solid shot on the chin, but one punch drops him like that. Good performance behind me. I'm not going to take that away from him. He stepped in. He forced Saddam to drop that right hand just slightly. He led to the left hook. Look, as soon as he stepped in, Saddam drops the, his right hand. So it was sort of a fake jab step, and he threw the left hook. And the concern by dad, David Ali. Against round number four, referee Gary Rosano puts a halt to the bout for your winner by TKO victory. He is now the undefeated new WBO Junior Middleweight Champion of the World, Jaime Munguia!